squirrel update. They're out here somewhere, but I don't know where the, where's the trap? Oh, there's the trap. The trap has been moved. <laughs> Reporting live from the backyard, <clears throat> zero squirrels have been caught. The battle continues. Log a day nine. Okay, this area is really stinking full. But this area's got a nice cavity in it. So we're keeping it full, but these guys are processing a lot really quickly, which is good. The soft goods section is fairly full. You have, wait, you have two or three things you're sending to your friends? Yeah. Where office? Where's the post office? Yeah, where's the post office? Uh, I don't know where, the, there's a post office down, I will show you down here. We lost the mat to the floor, but that doesn't mean that we lost the mat. We overshot our destination, but the map makes it look like it's out in the street, so that's not helpful. For I was just watching the uh, shave down video, which I'll link to right here. Shave down video, watch me go from ridiculous beard to no beard at all. Sit, oh there it is. Oh, that worked. We're just gonna walk it this way. Okay. to be in more videos, so we're gonna unload the truck. Fra's awesome, he's got such a great attitude. He's only been in the country for about two months. He's uh, Sudanese, had to flee the Civil War a few years ago, and came to us by way of Egypt. He's dying of thirst, because it's Ramadan. And rubbing on in the summer, it's rough. Long days. Can't drink or eat during daylight hours, and that stinks. That's great. Yeah. Farah loves driving heavy machinery. It's like his favorite thing ever. <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, uh, I drive energy. I drive every day. I drive. You drive every day? No, every day, yeah. You, you can drive anything. <laughs> yeah. You can drive anything? Yeah. I believe it. I believe that, Farah. Time to throw away some old VHS tapes, and then I gotta go. Someone's bound to miss this. No jump. It's no fun. Tragic. Aw. We're throwing away cute monkeys. He looks so sugary cold. Sad that somebody let him get to this place. Uh, look, she knows what's coming for her. The Coors bottles. Pro tip, let's go to the recycling center, not to the thrift store. Recycling is important. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> it means high five in, it means high five in Arabic, right? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. High five. Yeah, duck. So many meetings. Okay, so, uh, that, that was all for Boomerang, which we'll talk about at some point, but Jared asked specifically to know more about Global Neighborhood. He was wondering what the heck I was doing driving that big truck around. Global Neighborhood is a thrift store here in Spokane that's been in operation for about five years now that offers a six-month job training program to former refugees as they settle in the United States. So a lot of them don't speak great English, and they're going to school for English as a second language. We work around uh, that schedule to give them time working so they can earn a paycheck rather than receive handouts. Uh, Global Neighborhood really believes that paychecks are better than handouts, and I agree. I've known Brent, the founder of Global Neighborhood, the nonprofit, uh, for probably 10 or 11 years now. I met him back in college. He's an amazing guy, and what they're doing is fantastic. I was looking for something to do while I was here in Spokane, and he needed help 
increasing their donations. So he brought me in to kind of up their logistics game, which has been a lot of fun actually. We've, I've automated some stuff and it's been really rewarding because I've been able to see this huge swell in donations. I tend to track it based on furniture because furniture is really only done on the truck and is only done through the donation pickups that we're running. And we've been beating their average. We've been almost, we've been like tripling their average and almost doubling the goal that they had set for every week for the amount of furniture that we're putting on the floor. And then it's selling too. So that's going really well. So the time that I spend with people like Vanya, Ivan, and uh, Farah on the truck, those guys are from the Ukraine and Sudan, respectively. And they are former refugees, they're on their path to citizenship. And so when they're spending time with me, they're working, they're earning a paycheck, but they're also getting some cultural training, some English. Uh, we spend time talking about why do Americans do this, that, the other thing. One of Farah's first questions was, why are people putting water on their lawns? I don't understand. And I had to explain to him, well, to keep the grass green, and it also raised those questions like, why? Why do we do this? It's really cool to have those interactions, especially with Vanya and Farah, as we spend time moving stuff on and off the truck over and over again every day. So it's good. I get a good workout in every day, um, and it's for a good cause. So I've only been doing it for a couple of months. Probably only be there for another couple of months until things are really, really rolling smoothly, but it's definitely been a fantastic use of my time. So I hope that really helps clear things up for those of you who are wondering, what the heck is he doing with this thrift store truck? I need to go eat food, and I'm also gonna try and work on keeping these shorter. One of the constant pieces of feedback, even the people that really like the full videos, is that they are running a little bit long. Um, and I think that if you're not used to the vlog world and the vlog-a-day world, um, you probably don't have time for 10-minute videos. So I feel like I'm hitting my style, but the format is gonna get a little bit shorter. We'll see what happens. Let's dedicate this week to shorter videos. That's gonna be the goal, shorter videos this week. And in honor of that, scene.